Good evening and welcome into St. Joseph High School in Westchester, Illinois, where tonight it's a Chicago Catholic League clash between the Mount Carmel Caravan and the St. Joseph Chargers. Hello, everybody. I'm Connor Klingen, and thank you for joining me tonight on Arena Sportsnet, brought to you through Spreaker. The Caravan come into this one with an 8-3 and three record, playing some solid basketball and impressive wins over St. Lawrence, De La Salle, and Maris. St. Joseph looking to improve to 500 on the season as they come in at 4-5 and five last weekend. They split two games, one last Friday night on the road at Montini and then lost on the road last Saturday night at Evanston. This game, the last one for the Chargers before a Christmas break, and then the famous Proviso West Holiday Tournament, always a deep and talented field at the Proviso West Holiday Tournament. Without a doubt, the best holiday tournament in the area each and every year, and the Chargers will be in the field once again. Before tonight's game, had a chance to chat with Chargers head coach Gene Pingator. Coach Pingator now in his 50th season at the helm here at St. Joseph. And with the win over Montini, achieved his 1,025th career victory. Asked coach about how the team will respond to their first game following finals week and the win over Montini last Friday night. So here he is, Coach Gene Pingator, before tonight's game. All right, we're here with St. Joseph Chargers head coach Gene Pingator before tonight's game against Mount Carmel. And, Coach, uh, this week, obviously, for the players, they have their finals. Now, that's the same case for Mount Carmel as well. Uh, but do you think that maybe helps the players a little bit to finish that and get to kind of blow off some steam in the game tonight? It's a good question. Uh... I'm sure the pressure of the finals is, uh, you know, is always going to be there for athletes. But uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I saw it in practice. The first few days of practice, when they were taking their finals, they were, uh, they weren't there mentally. You can see that. And then the the day after, they were better. So I, you put it letting off stream. The pressure is really a little bit, I think. Definitely, yeah. So hopefully they can play loose and fresh tonight without that pressure. Uh, going back to the game last Friday night, but before it, you said it was going to be a tough one. Uh, definitely an emotional atmosphere, but still really, how, how special was that night with uh, Daryl being honored? Well, the night, you know, on Friday uh, against Montini, we, we expected it to be emotional, and, and Montini was all pumped up, and I'm not sure how our kids handled it, uh, not knowing Daryl, you know, but uh, it, and it was a great crowd. They had some stuff going on. Uh, I mean, it, it was just an outstanding night of basketball, and uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game. And as a result, we won by three. So I was happy with that. And, and coach, in that game, you know, we've talked about Kyle Thomas a lot. He had to play a lot more minutes than usual due to Hardaway getting some foul trouble. Uh, how do you think he's grown? And, and, and he really played some solid, made some solid plays in that game. How do you think he's grown so far this season as a freshman? I think he's doing fine, and I think uh, you're going to see him playing more and more. It's good to hear. Yeah, definitely. He's done a great job. Well, Mount Carmel has some impressive wins. They're the only team to beat St. Lawrence this season. What are you expecting from them? What have you seen from them coming into tonight? Hopefully they're not the only team to beat St. Joseph this year. Uh, <laughs> well, we played them last year, and they have, uh, I think, three starters back. And, and uh, they're typical of the teams we've been facing. They're going to run the ball. They're going to try to get it inside. They're going to shoot the threes. Uh, Keep going. Keep going. We'll keep it rolling. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I've, I've lost my train of thought. Uh, That's fine. So did I. No, it's, it's going to be a very uh, competitive game. Yeah, Mount Carmel's not just a football and wrestling school anymore. They've got yeah, some no, basketball they, yeah, talent. they have good programs throughout Definitely. the school. Definitely. There's no question. Uh, well, Coach, also, of course, you know, wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas as well. Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year, too. And to you guys. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach, for taking the time. Really appreciate it. 
appreciate it. I come on a very prestigious program. I play against them in both football and basketball and track. All right. Well, it should be a tough one tonight. should be a fun one. Thanks for taking the time, Coach. Thanks again to Coach Sheen Pingator for taking the time out to talk with you for a little bit before tonight's game. Had a little guest cameo there as well uh, from one of the most dedicated St. Joseph Charger fans. Also like to apologize for the sound of the Eminem in the background, or maybe if you're a fan of Eminem, that's... <laughs> Good enough, but uh, hopefully nobody is uh, looking out for any copyright violations because the pregame warm-up music was turned up a little bit extra tonight. But why not? It, it should be a great game between Mount Carmel and St. Joseph's. Uh, should be a fun atmosphere. The gym's starting to fill up here about five and a half minutes away from having the starting lineups announced, the national anthem, and the pregame prayer as well. Well, it was an up-and-down weekend for the Chargers last week. They took down Montini, a three-point emotional road victory. And I asked Coach about that. He, he did say it was, it was such a special night. And he did feel that St. Joseph maybe didn't handle the emotions of that game too well. But I just have to say, as someone being there, it was really tremendous. It was great to be there, and uh, it, it was special. And... For Kyle Thomas as a freshman to play as many minutes as he did in a game where his dad was being honored, just such a cool thing to see and uh, definitely great that the Chargers were able to come away with the victory as well. But last Saturday night, as many St. Joseph fans out there know, the performance at Evanston was not what the Chargers wanted it to be as they went down big. As uh, Cliff Scales, the uh, assistant coach for St. Joseph, just came over here before the game. But uh, the Chargers just didn't play how they wanted to against Evanston. A blowout loss, and those are certainly rare for this program. And last season, we did see that Brother Rice beat the Chargers by a substantial mo margin, and that was on their home floor. The next night, the Chargers went out to the night of hoops at Batavia and beat a solid Batavia team pretty soundly. So the question is, can the Chargers respond in a similar matter, manner to how they did last season when they were blown out if they're able to play well tonight against Mount Carmel? But it will be a tough one tonight against the Caravan. As I mentioned earlier, this Mount Carmel team already has a win over a ranked team in St. Lawrence. One of the best St. Lawrence teams in a number of years saw them last season, uh, a program that's on the rise, and Mount Carmel, the only team to beat them so far this year. They're ranked 16th in the area. Also took down Marist, did Mount Carmel, and De La Salle. All three of those teams. St. Lawrence, not traditionally known as much in the basketball community, but has been on the rise. And as Coach mentioned, Mount Carmel returns three starters from last year's team. And they've leaned on that experience so far to get out to an 8-3 and three start. But they know just as well as anybody coming in here and winning at St. Joseph is not an easy task, especially when the gym is nice and full. And with Christmas coming up, everybody in a festive mood here in Westchester. Just a few days away from December 25th as the Chargers come back out onto the floor after briefly stepping into the locker room. Mount Carmel warming up, wearing their pinstripe warm-up pants. Similar look to the Indiana Hoosiers, although obviously a much different color. Mount Carmel wearing the brown pinstripe pants. But the, uh, the candy stripe is what they call them for the Indiana Hoosiers. And have worn those for a number of years and, of course, became very famous under Bobby Knight. And big connection between St. Joseph and Indiana, of course, Isaiah Thomas and Daryl Thomas, both star players at Indiana after their time at St. Joseph. And Coach Pingator, of course, having a connection with Bobby Knight as well from Coach Knight coming to recruit so many uh, St. Joseph players over the years. And in that win over Montini last Friday night, 
Coach Gene Pingator actually picked up his 1,025th career victory. As I mentioned, picked up win number 1,000 a couple of seasons ago. Such an incredible accomplishment. The only coach in boys basketball in the state of Illinois to have over 1,000 victories, and now he's well over that mark. And with this young team, Coach Pingator, plenty of energy, very excited about this group. We talked about the freshman Thomas, but also the, the typical starting lineup for the Chargers of Reggie Strong, John Robinson, Malik Anderson, Marcus Becton, and Hardaway. Anderson and Hardaway, the only seniors, and then you have players like Shahid Owens being very exciting, Kyle Thomas, the freshman, and also Sean Page, another freshman. Uh, so much talent uh, coming in this program, so it's exciting time for St. Joseph. There's ups and downs, as there were last Saturday at Evanston, but they continue to improve and grow, and we'll see if they can get a nice victory tonight. Perhaps would be the most impressive win of the early season for St. Joseph and a great way to head into the Proviso West Holiday Tournament, which is always such a challenge each and every year. So we're about ready now for the National Anthem opening prayer as well here from St. Joseph. And we'll go over to the public address announcer. Now we'll have the starting lineups for both teams. Miles McGee, the sophomore. Electric score. Andre Bennett starting at another guard for the caravan. Will Mendez, the senior. Renze Agunba also starting for Mount Carmel. And Josh Reddick, the 6'3 senior, also starting for Mount Carmel. So it's McGee, Reddick, Agunba, Bennett, and Mendez for the caravan. Mount Carmel coached by Phil Seagroves. Now the Chargers starting lineup being introduced. 
Reggie Strong has been so impressive early on in the season. Transfer from Farragut. Nikki Shahid Owens getting the start tonight. Malik Anderson getting the start. Marcus Becton also starting. And Antonio Hardaway getting the start for the Chargers. So a little shakeup in the starting lineup, at least from the Montini game. I was not at the Evanston game, but Shahid Owens getting the start instead of John Robinson. Shahid Owens, the junior. It'll be Hardaway and Reddick going up for the tip. St. Joseph in their home whites. Mount Carmel in the road brown with the white lettering. Tip is won back initially by Hardaway, then chased down in the corner by Malik Anderson. Nearly lost it out of bounds, but he gets it over to Shahid Owens, who brings it over midcourt to get things started for the Chargers. Here's Becton in the left corner for strong left wing. Across the court, Shahid Owens on the right wing. Shahid Owens back across for Strong on the left wing. Strong over in the right corner, Anderson. Now back Shahid Owens beyond the three-point line. Cross court, Strong. Strong on the left wing into the left corner. Becton. Becton looking to drive. Mid lane. Puts it up. Not there. Rebound to Mount Carmel. And then a foul is committed as Becton reached in off of the rebound. First foul on either team, 7.27 to play, first quarter, no score, and we will see Mount Carmel with the basketball for the first time tonight. Mendez at the point guard spot, bringing it up. Down into the corner, three on the way from McGee, and he sinks it. A quick three for Mount Carmel from the right corner by Miles McGee, and they have a 3 to nothing lead. Chargers come the other way with it. Shahid Owens on the right wing, down low on the baseline, Hardaway wide open underneath, and he scores. 3-2 to two the score now. Seven minutes to play, first quarter. Mendez brings it up the floor for the caravan. Now it's back to McGee beyond the three-point line. McGee to the top of the key, now drives, trying to find a pass back out, and he's in some trouble. Mendez looking to drive the right side, not there. Put back attempt wasn't there from Reddick either. The rebound to Shahid Owens, back ahead strong. Now it's Malik Anderson on the baseline, dishes back out for Strong in the left wing. Strong across the court, Becton. Becton fakes the three, drives. Facing some contact, then dishes it back outside for Strong. Six and a half minutes to play first quarter. 3-2 Mount Carmel. The three from Strong is off back iron. No good. Reddick driving the other way for the caravan. Now they dish it back outside for Bennett. Bennett driving the left side. Not there. The rebound to Shahid Owens. Shahid Owens pushing ahead for the Chargers. And his pass is deflected and stolen by Mendez. 6-10 to play first quarter. 3-10 Mount Carmel. Here's Bennett in close. He scores. 5-2 Caravan. Six minutes left in the first quarter. Strong brings it up the floor for the Chargers. Across the court, Shahid Owens. Now in the left corner, Anderson. Anderson back with it in that left corner, setting up the offense for the Chargers. Now it's Becton in the mid lane. Now into the right corner, Hardaway. Back outside, Strong in the right wing, well beyond the three-point line. Strong guarded tightly by Miles McGee. Strong into the right corner. Now dishes back outside for Hardaway on the right wing. He'll hand back off for Strong. Strong near the sideline. Now for Shahid Owens on the left wing. Shahid Owens looking for a pass. Goes to Becton near midcourt. Becton to Anderson. Patient possession for the Chargers. Top of the key now Hardaway with it. Back for Strong left wing. Strong looking to drive in the baseline. Blocking foul called on Mount Carmel as Will Mendez was in the way. So the Chargers will inbound it from underneath the Mount Carmel basket to the left side. Inbounds quickly into Becton. Becton outside Shahid Owens. Five minutes left first quarter. Chargers trailing this one 5-2. to two. Here's Reggie Strong now on the outside. Back for Hardaway, right wing. Hardaway for Shahid Owens. 
Shahid Owens fakes, drives the right side, off the glass and in. There was some contact there. Nothing caught, but a nice move by Shahid Owens to make it 5-4. Caravan back with the basketball. Bennett fires a three from the top of the key. Rattles around and in. Andre Bennett already with five points. It's 8-4 Mount Carmel. Four and a half minutes to play first quarter. Strong to Becton on the left wing. Becton for Shahid Owens near midcourt. Shahid Owens for Hardaway. Hardaway on the right wing, top of the key, Anderson. Anderson for Shahid Owens. Shahid Owens looking for a pass out. Now it's Becton near midcourt. And off the foot of Mendez, out of bounds, as Becton was looking for a bounce pass there. It will stay with the Chargers as Mount Carmel brings on a substitute. Agumba comes back on for Dan Oaks, who had checked in. And now we will see John Robinson for the first time tonight for St. Joe's. As Shahid Owens will head to the bench. 4-11 left in the first quarter, 8-4 Mount Carmel with the four-point lead early. Strong over midcourt for Robinson. Now it's Becton. Becton on the right side, beyond the three-point line, looks to drive the lane, and he lost the basketball off his knee, out of bounds. It will go to Mount Carmel. Caravan take back the ball with 3.58 left in the first quarter, leading by four, 8-4. to four. Mendez. We'll bring it over midcourt for the caravan. Mendez on the left wing to the top of the key. Three on the way. No good there from Reddick. Offensive rebound put back up and in by Andre Bennett, who already has seven of the ten points from Mount Carmel. The caravan out to a six-point lead now. Three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. 10-4 Mount Carmel. Chargers looking to respond here on the left wing with Robinson. Robinson looking to drive. Now dishes back outside for Becton. Becton trapped in the right corner, and he is pushed. This will go on a Goomba. Second foul on Mount Carmel is now Kyle Thomas will enter into the game for Antonio Hardaway. Thomas, the tallest player on either of the two teams. He is just a freshman, though. And Coach Pingator said in our chat before tonight's game that Kyle Thomas is going to be seeing even more minutes than he has early on in the season. Here's Reggie Strong. Strong dishes for Becton. Short jumper on the way. In and out. Rebound tipped around and eventually goes to Malik Anderson on the outside. Anderson for a long two-point jumper. Got it. Malik Anderson, such a smooth jumper, and then the other way, pass deflected out of bounds. We'll stay with Mount Carmel. 10 to 6, three minutes left in the first quarter. The caravan with a four point lead over the St. Joseph Chargers. McGee will inbounds from the left sideline. McGee with it at the top of the key now. Over across the court, and then to Agumba. Agumba backing in against Kyle Thomas, spins his way off the glass, in and out, rebound to Thomas. Up ahead, Robinson. Chargers trailing by four. Here's John Robinson. Long two-point jumper. Not there. Rebound is taken by Mount Carmel. Here's Reddick. Reddick on the left wing. Into the mid lane, Agumba. Back outside, McGee. Right corner three. Not there. He made it from that spot earlier. That was the first basket of the game for Mount Carmel. Rebound was tipped out of bounds. Last touch by St. Joe's. So it'll go to the caravan. They'll have to inbound here from the left sideline. In for Agumba. Agumba driving on Thomas. Short. Rebound to John Robinson. Chargers looking to push here with 2.20 left in the first quarter. They trail by four, 10 to 6. Malik Anderson. For Robinson in the right corner. Robinson to the top of the key for Strong. Strong dribbles between his legs, then goes for Becton on the right wing. Becton to Thomas, top of the key. Thomas over for Robinson, left wing. Two minutes left in the first. Now it's Strong on the left side. Strong guarded by Bennett. Strong looking to spin. Then back for Anderson. Thought about the left wing three, decided against it, and then gives back for Robinson at the top of the key. Now it's Strong with it. Some clapping coming from the Mount Carmel bench for a well-defended possession and a travel called on Malik Anderson. 
As he took an extra step there, 142 left first quarter. 10-6 Mount Carmel on the caravan with the basketball. Mendez brings it over half court for Mount Carmel. Hands off for McGee. McGee on the right wing. McGee into the right corner for Bennett. Bennett guarded by Strong. Now it's a Goomba. Now Reddick, right corner three, well short. Might have been partially blocked. Rebound taken by Robinson. Robinson pushing ahead. On the outside, Anderson for three. Can't get the roll there. And a timeout is taken by Mount Carmel after they came away with the rebound. 1.14 left in the first quarter. 10-6, Mount Carmel with the lead over St. Joseph here early in the first quarter. This Mount Carmel team coming in at 8-3 on the season and off to a good start so far here tonight. Not much going for the Chargers offensively. Have to give a lot of credit to Mount Carmel on the defensive end of the floor. There is not much space for the Chargers. A team that likes to score the majority of their points on the inside in the paint, driving whether it's driving with their guards or Hardaway or Thomas. Now if they do shoot from the outside, that's usually Anderson or Strong. And neither of them have gotten going too much so far tonight, although Malik Anderson has too. 10-6 to six, Mount Carmel. They're back with the ball coming out of the timeout. Mendez driving on the left wing. Hands off for Blackmore. Blackmore gives for Reddick. Mid lane jumper. Not there. Rebound is battled for. Eventually Mount Carmel came away with it. The putback by Josh Reddick is up and in. 12-6 to six, Caravan. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Strong over half court for Becton on the right wing. Becton looking for a pass, gives it to Robinson. Robinson, top of the key jumper, not there. Rebound tipped. Anderson has it, nearly lost it. Back outside Strong, left wing. He takes a baseline jumper, not there. Offensive rebound, Kyle Thomas has it. Eventually then lost it. Had it stripped away by Agumba, who gives for Mendez with 20 seconds left in the first. Mendez driving all the way to the hoop. Not there. The putback is, though, from Liam McDonough, and it's 14-6 Mount Carmel. The caravan now on a 4-0 run. Ten seconds left in the first. Robinson brings it over half court for Becton. Becton on the right wing with five seconds now left in the first. Now down to three. Strong with a long three on the way, and not there. So that will do it for the first quarter. Mount Carmel leading it 14 to six at the end of one. We're gonna take a quick break here on Arena Sportsnet. We will be back in just a bit with the second quarter here between Mount Carmel and St. Joseph. Welcome back here to St. Joseph High School. Mount Carmel leading 14-6 at the end of the first quarter. Ended that first on a 4-0 run. They led 8-4 and actually led 10-4 as well. Chargers scored just six points in that first quarter. So offense needs to get going for the Chargers. For Mount Carmel, Andre Bennett had seven points in that first quarter. Three from Miles McGee, two from Josh Reddick, and two from Liam McDonough for the caravan. Mendez inbounds all the way down to the baseline. Agumba. Now it's Blackmore with a long jumper on the way. Not there. The rebound taken by Robinson. Robinson pushing up the floor quickly. The alley oop to Reggie Strong. It was an alley oop lay in for Reggie Strong to make it 14 to eight. Now Strong putting out some pressure to Mendez. Chargers amping up that defensive pressure here in this second quarter. Six point game, Mendez in the left corner, drives the baseline, blocking foul called on Robinson. Mendez will inbound to the right of the Chargers basket from the baseline. Mendez pass in. 
to Agumba, blocked by Kyle Thomas, and then tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Mount Carmel. 7.32 left, second corner. 14-8 Chargers are trailing Mount Carmel by six here. 7.30 left in the second. Robinson to Reggie Strong. Strong in the left side, top of the key, now Becton. Becton between a half court and the three-point line to Kyle Thomas on the right wing. Now to Reggie Strong. Backing his way on the baseline. Spins, then dishes back out for Becton left corner. Left wing now Robinson. Robinson driving, dishing. Kyle Thomas, short jumper, not there. Rebound by Reggie Strong, and then a jump ball. Possession arrow pointing the way of the Chargers, so they will keep it. 7.04 left second quarter. St. Joe's trailing by six, 14-8. as Zarell Mason will come onto the floor for St. Joe's. Into Mason in the left corner. Now it's Reggie Strong left wing. Malik Anderson left corner three in and out. Rebound tipped and taken by Mount Carmel. Blackmore brings it up the floor. Blackmore driving all the way to the hoop. He is fouled and somehow gets the bucket to go. As he was going down to the floor, tossed it up high, and it somehow went in as he took a lot of contact there. He'll go to the line, look at the complete, a three-point play, 16-8. to eight. Mount Carmel leading. Here was 6.50 left in the second. The foul was called on Zarell Mason. That's the third on the Chargers as a team here in the first half. Blake Moore's free throw is in and out. 16 to eight remains the score. Here's Robinson, left wing three, that's short. Rebound taken by Mount Carmel and then a foul called on the Chargers. That foul on Zarell Mason, so Zarell Mason comes off the bench, picks up two quick fouls, and now we see Brandon Malone check in for the Chargers. The caravan will have it. Full court press here for St. Joe's as they trail by 8, 634 left in the second quarter. Inbounds into Reddick. Reddick in the backcourt, guarded tightly by Becton. Now goes for Bennett. Bennett in the left corner, spins, tries to put up a jumper, blocked by John Robinson and taken away. Robinson over midcourt, now Reggie Strong on the left wing. Strong drives, dishes, down for Zarell Mason, and Mason is called for a travel. Back to Mount Carmel, 6-10 left in the first half. Chargers coming with a full court press. Brandon Malone guarding the basketball. High baseball pass all the way down the floor, taken by Agumba, and then right there is Reddick for the lay-in. And it's 18 to eight. The lead is at 10 for Mount Carmel with six minutes left in this first half. Strong to John Robinson. Robinson, top of the key, Becton. Becton driving now, finds some space off the glass and in with the right hand. Marcus Becton has his first points. Chargers coming back with a full court press off the made basket. 5.40 to play, second quarter. McGee bringing it up the floor, dribbled it off his foot, picked up by Bennett. His land's no good, and then the rebound's taken by Becton. Becton all the way up the floor, ahead for Zarell Mason under the hoop, then to Reggie Strong, the finger roll. And it's 18-12. Nice little 4-0 run after the Chargers went down by 10. Reddick driving now, finds space in the lane off the back iron, got the roll. Reddick now with six points. Chargers trailing it 20-12, five minutes left in the first half, but the offense starting to get going for St. Joe's here. Becton on the right wing, now at the top of the key. Dishes back outside. Zarell Mason fires a three. That's long. Rebound tipped and taken by McDonough for Mount Carmel. For Andre Bennett, 
Bennett will hand off for Redick. Redick at the top of the key, guarded by Strong. And Strong was looking for the steal there, instead called for a reach-in foul. Fifth foul on the Chargers as a team. As Andre Bennett and Will Mendez will re-enter for Mount Carmel. 4.33 left in the second quarter. McDonough at the top of the key. McDonough looking to drive that right side. His lane's not there. Agumbo with the putback. Not there as well. A third attempt didn't go for Mount Carmel. Rebound finally by Kyle Thomas. Ahead to Robinson. The alley-oop for Reggie Strong once again. This time another lay-in on the alley-oop. 20-14. to 14. A six-point lead for Mount Carmel. They're back with the ball. Reddick, top of the key, three. Off back iron. Rebound taken by a Goomba for Mount Carmel. The putback is not there. And then Reggie Strong has the rebound for the Chargers. He pushes up the right side. Strong moving quickly now. Dishes the bounce pass to John Robinson for two. It's two. For Mount, oh, it's McDonough on the baseline out from behind by Brandon Malone. First foul on Malone. Six on the Chargers as a team. 3:42 left in the front. He's fell away to the hoop. Finger roll. Eight points for Josh Reddick, and all of a sudden the Mount Carmel leads back up to eight coming out of that timeout. They've had a mini 4-0 run here. Malone to Robinson on the and he got the roll on the first half. Red 20 left in the first looking for Kyle Thomas. And that pass misses his hand out of bounds. Oh, they do say it was Tosive. Both teams seems a little confused, but. It will stay with Mount by St. Joe four, and then the inbound pass is out of bounds from Mount Carmel, so it'll go to the Chargers. They tried to throw it all the way down near half court, but the pass was out of reach for Andre Bennett. As D'Amico Nudal Jr. will check in. Fifty seconds left in the first half. Here's Shahid Owens. Shahid Owens nearly lost the basketball. Over for Zarell Mason beyond the right wing. Mason. Mason driving the baseline. Almost lost it. It's being tipped around, and Mount Carmel has it now. Up ahead now for Hawkins. And that's tipped out of bounds. It will stay with the caravan. First time we've seen the sophomore Matt Hawkins on the floor tonight. Mendez from the right of the Charger hoop inbounds it to Agumba. Now Hawkins for three. That's too hard off the back iron. Rebound being battled for. Jump ball. Possession arrow pointing the way of Mount Carmel, so they will take it with 23 seconds left in this first half, leading by 10. Here's Bennett into the corner. Left corner three from Mendez is good. And now the largest lead of the night for Mount Carmel. 13 points, 29-16 Caravan. 10 seconds left in the first half. Now down to five. Shahid Owens with it. Now outside. Mason has to put up a shot at the buzzer. Can't get it to go. And so Mount Carmel ends that first half on a 9-0 run after the Chargers cut their lead to four points. What a response coming out of that timeout for Mount Carmel after it looked like the Chargers were making a run right at them. Now Mount Carmel has the lead up at 13 points. They lead as we head to the locker room 29-16. 
And uh, if you missed it earlier here tonight, going to play now the interview uh, that I had earlier with St. Joseph Chargers head coach Gene Pingator. And this was from before tonight's game. So here he is, St. Joseph Chargers head coach Gene Pingator. All right, we're here with St. Joseph Chargers head coach Gene Pingator before tonight's game against Mount Carmel. And, Coach, uh, this week, obviously, for the players, they have their finals. Now, that's the same case for Mount Carmel as well. Uh, but do you think that maybe helps the players a little bit to finish that and get to kind of blow off some steam in the game tonight? It's a good question. Uh... I'm sure the pressure of the finals is, uh, you know, is always going to be there for athletes. But um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I saw it in practice. The first few days of practice, when they were taking their finals, they were, um, they weren't there mentally. You can see that. And then the the day after, they were better. So I, you put it letting off stream. The pressure is relieved a little bit, I think. Definitely, yeah. So hopefully they can play loose and fresh tonight without that pressure. Uh, going back to the game last Friday night, but before it, you said it was going to be a tough one. Uh, definitely an emotional atmosphere, but still really, how, how special was that night with uh, Daryl being honored? Well, the night, you know, on Friday uh, against Montini, we, we expected it to be emotional, and, and Montini was all pumped up, and I'm not sure how our kids handled it, uh, not knowing Daryl, you know, but uh, it, and it was a great crowd. And they had some stuff going on. Uh, I mean, it, it was just an outstanding night of basketball, and uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game. And as a result, we won by three. So I was happy with that. And, and coach, in that game, you know, we've talked about Kyle Thomas a lot. He had to play a lot more minutes than usual due to hard away getting some foul trouble uh, how do you think he's grown and, and, and he really played some solid made some solid plays in that game how do you think he's grown so far this season as a freshman I think he's doing fine and I think uh, you're going to see him playing more and more it's good to hear yeah definitely he's done a great job well Mount Carmel has some impressive wins they're the only team to beat St. Lawrence this season what are you expecting from them what have you seen from them coming into tonight Hopefully they're not the only team to beat St. Joseph this year. Uh, well, we played them last year, and they have, uh, I think, three starters back. And, and uh, they're typical of the teams we've been facing. They're going to run the ball. They're going to try to get it inside. They're going to shoot the threes. Uh, Keep on, keep on. They, uh, we'll keep it rolling. Keep on, keep on. I've, I've lost my train of thought. That's fine. Uh, so did I. You know, it's it, it's going to be a very uh, competitive game. Yeah, Mount Carmel's not just a football and wrestling school anymore. They've got yeah, some no, basketball they, yeah, talent. They have good programs throughout Definitely. the school. Definitely. There's no question. Uh, well, Coach, also, of course, you know, wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas as well. Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year too. And to you guys. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach, for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Now, Carmel is a very prestigious program. I play against them in both football and basketball and track. All right. Well, it should right, be a tough it. one tonight. should be a fun one. Thanks for taking the time, Coach. Thanks again to Coach Gene Pingator for taking the time out to talk before tonight's game. 29-16, the score here at the half. Mount Carmel leading St. Joseph. Some of the stats from that first half, Josh Reddick leading Mount Carmel and all scorers with eight points. Andre Bennett has seven for the caravan as well and Liam McDonough with six. For St. Joseph, Reggie Strong has six points and then the Chargers have five other players who have two with Robinson, Anderson, Becton, Hardaway, and Shahid Owens. We're going to take a quick break here on Arena Sportsnet Chicago. We will be back with the second half here at 7.45 p.m., 29-16, Mount Carmel leading St. Joseph.
Welcome back here to St. Joseph High School in Westchester. Mount Carmel leading 29-16 at the end of the first half. They ended that first half on a 9-0 run after the Chargers had cut the Mount Carmel lead to four points. It was 20-16, now 29-16 after a well-timed timeout by Mount Carmel head coach Phil Seagroves. And we'll begin the third quarter now. It'll be Chargers ball. Chargers moving toward the stage now here at St. Joseph. Robinson on the right wing, top of the key now, Becton. Becton looking for a pass, finds Robinson on the left wing. Robinson to the top of the key, strong. He fires for three, off the mark, rebound to Hardaway, trying to dish back for Robinson. Instead, it's stolen by McGee for the caravan. And then McGee had it tipped out of bounds by Reggie Strong, who was looking for the steal. 7.35 left third quarter, 29-16 Mount Carmel. Andre Bennett inbounding from the right sideline. Bennett back for Agunba. His three from the right wing, not there. Rebound by John Robinson. Robinson pushing ahead for the Chargers. Robinson on the left wing, now dribbles over to the right wing. Robinson for Hardaway beyond the three-point line. Hardaway to the top of the key for Anderson. Anderson for Strong. Strong on the right wing, down to Hardaway, posting his way up. Now it's back for Becton. Becton drives the lane, dishes out. Robinson, his three from the right corner is good. 29-19. Lead cut to 10 for Mount Carmel. Here's Mendez beyond the three-point line. Now it's to McGee. Cutting, he's blocked. Hardaway with the block, ahead for Robinson. Now it's Strong. Strong drives baseline, off the glass and in. 5-0 run to start the second half of the Chargers. 29-21, but Mendez down the lane. Dishes for McGee. He had it blocked. Here come the Chargers the other way with it. On the right wing, Becton. Becton dishes back for Strong. Strong over for Robinson. Another three on the left wing. This is off the mark to the side of the rim. 6-17 left third quarter. 29-21 Chargers. Mendez on the left wing. Mendez drives the right lane off the glass, in and out. Offensive rebound by Mount Carmel. Here's a Goomba, mid lane jumper off the mark. Rebound is taken by the Chargers, Malik Anderson. Anderson over mid court. Anderson at the top of the key now. Under six minutes left, third quarter. 29 21 Mount Carmel. Chargers trail by eight. Here's Hardaway. Hardaway dishes down for Anderson, backing his way in. Fall away jumper, short. Rebound is taken by Agumba for Mount Carmel. Now it's to McGee. McGee on the right side near midcourt, guarded by Reggie Strong. McGee looking for a pass, and it is out of bounds as he was trying to find Mendez, and Shahid Owens will check in for John Robinson. Into Reggie Strong. Five and a half minutes left, third quarter. Here's Becton. Becton driving. Goes up. Jump ball. Possession arrow pointing the way of Mount Carmel, so they will take it back. 521 left in the third quarter. Reddick inbounding from the baseline. Full court pressure from the Chargers. Reddick facing a double team, spins out of it. Dribbles to the left side, now for McDonough. Down on the baseline, fakes, goes up, had it blocked. Offensive rebound, Agumba tipped out of bounds off Mount Carmel. It will go to the Chargers, they trail by eight, 29-21, 5.05 left here in the third quarter. Strong brings it up the right side. Strong dribbles now to the top of the key, now looking to the left lane, tipped. And last touched by St. Joseph. It will go to Mount Carmel. As that ball was batted around off a couple of toes, they will rule that it last went off a charger. 
Full court press, some trouble for Redick on the inbounds, gets it into Agumba. Now it's Bennett on the left side. Bennett will bounce it back for Mendez. Mendez over half court. Mendez guarded by Shahid Owens. Mendez to the left side. Now Bennett in the left corner, fakes the three. Back out for Redick. His three on the way is nothing but net. Josh Redick has 11 points now. 32-21 Mount Carmel, the lead back in double digits for the caravan. Shahid Owens with it on the right wing for the Chargers to the top of the key for Becton. Becton fakes, now drives over for Shahid Owens. Now it's Malik Anderson backing his way in, and he is fouled on the floor. Anderson will inbound to the left of the basket. Sean Page enters the game, as well as Kyle Thomas. So two bigs in there. The inbounds pass goes off the hand of Page and out of bounds. And now it'll be Mount Carmel basketball. 32-21. Inbounds into Mendez. Mendez being pressured tightly by Strong. Shahid Owens came out and tried to steal it. Mendez able to evade all that pressure. Out of the right side, now right corner three from Redick in and out. Rebound is taken by Mount Carmel. Blakemore back out for Redick. Now top of the key, Agumba fakes the shot, drives. Had it blocked. Ball on the floor now taken by Page. Jump ball, possession arrow pointing the way of St. Joseph. Chargers will get the ball back, trailing by 11. 32-21, 3.52 left in the third quarter. They did trail by 13 at the half. John Robinson back into the game for the Chargers. Reggie Strong getting a little breather. Outside Anderson fakes the three, drives, can't get it to go. Rebound is taken by Agumba for Mount Carmel. Now it's Mendez ahead for Redick on the left side. Redick down into the left corner, bounce pass for Agumba on the left elbow, fakes the shot, then drives. Offensive foul as a charge was taken by Nikki Shahid Owens. left, third quarter. 11-point lead for Mount Carmel. Shahid Owens to Robinson on the left wing. Robinson passes back out for Shahid Owens. 3.15 left in the third. Chargers trail by 11. And Shahid Owens lost the basketball out of bounds. Another turnover for the Chargers. It's back to Mount Carmel as Reggie Strong will re-enter the basketball game. Redick into Mendez. Mendez on the left side. For Agumba. Agumba looking down low for Redick. Foul called on the floor. Foul called on Malik Anderson. That's his first. First on the Chargers as a team. 3.01 left in the third. Mount Carmel inbounding from underneath the Chargers basket. Mendez on the right side into a Goomba right wing. They go for Blakemore. He fakes the three on the left side, then gives over for Mendez near half court. Mendez for Blakemore. Long three on the way. Not there. The rebound tipped and taken by McDonough. Free throw line jumper swatted by Kyle Thomas. Put back into the hands of McDonough. He drives off the glass and in. Lead back up to 13 for Mount Carmel, 34-21. Anderson on the right wing, fakes the three, then looking to drive. Jump ball. Possession arrow pointing the way of Mount Carmel. That's the third jump ball we've seen in this third quarter. 2.32 left in the third. Timeout will be taken by St. Joseph head coach Gene Pingator with the Chargers trailing by 13 here with 2.32 to play in the third quarter.
34-21, 2.32 left in the third quarter. Public address announcer just mentioned Paul's Pizza donating some pizza here for tonight's game. And they don't pay for any advertising with us, but certainly if they're willing to donate pizza here to St. Joe's, I think you might as well stop by for a slice as well uh, off of Wolf Road here in Westchester. 2.32 left in the third quarter. 34-21. Mount Carmel with the lead. Josh Reddick will inbound from the right side into Mendez. Mendez on the left wing. Now for Blakemore, and a foul is called on Malik Anderson. That's his second. Chargers started out this third quarter on a 5-0 run to make it... 29-21, but since that point, Mount Carmel has been rolling, and right there they have an easy two from Andre Bennett right off the inbounds. The lead up to 15 now for Mount Carmel, 36-21. Reggie Strong on the outside for Malik Anderson beyond the right wing. Anderson to the top of the key for Robinson. Robinson now for Strong. Strong on the left wing. Strong baseline, hands off for Anderson. His three, not there. Rebound taken by Mount Carmel. Mendez pushing ahead. Mendez all the way to the hoop. And he is fouled as he put up a shot from the left side. He'll have two free throws. Seven-0 run for Mount Carmel since St. Joe's got back within eight points. Mendez at the free throw line. First free throw is good. As Brandon Malone comes out of the floor for Malik Anderson. 145 left in the third, 16 point lead for Mount Carmel. And now an 8 0 run. Second free throw for Mendez. Also good. Mendez has five points, 38-21. Mount Carmel, the 17-point lead, the largest of the night. Chargers just have struggled offensively. And you have to give credit to Mount Carmel for the way they have defended. Here's Strong. Strong at the top of the key. Strong to the outside. Robinson thought about the three and said drives baseline. Off the glass, no good. Rebound taken by Agunba. And Agunba travels with it as he was caught in between deciding whether to pass or dribble. Ends up traveling as Miles McGee re-enters for Mount Carmel. 121 left in the third. Chargers will inbound from around half court. Robinson with it. Robinson hands off for Strong. Strong takes a long two-point jumper, sinks it. Reggie Strong has 10 points, 38-23. Chargers trail by 15. 105 left in the third quarter. Mendez fires from three. Oh, and he got it. Just when the Chargers get a basket, Will Mendez silences the crowd. 41-23, an 18-point lead, the largest of the night. And now a foul called off the ball as Agunba pushed Kyle Thomas. Foul called on Agunba, his third, the third on Mount Carmel as a team. 45 seconds left in the third. Strong, top of the key jumper. Short off front iron. Rebound by McGee. Jump ball. 
possession arrow pointing the way of the Chargers. 41 seconds left here in the third. Chargers will inbound to the left of their basket. Sean Page is in the ball game, so you have Page and Thomas both in there. Some size on the floor for the Chargers. Malone takes the inbounds on the outside. Here's Robinson on the left wing. Robinson dishes out for Malone. Long two-point jumper. Not there. Rebound tipped. Last touch by St. Joe's. It'll go to Mount Carmel with 31 seconds left in the third. Chargers applying some full-court pressure. Bennett inbounding from the baseline, trying to find a pass. McGee just able to save it as his toe was nearly on the end line there. 25 seconds left in the third. Mendez, 20 seconds now. Mendez near half court. Over for Bennett. Down to 15 seconds. 41-23 Mount Carmel, and they will hold for the last shot of this third quarter. Now down to 10 in the third. Bennett. Driving at the free throw line. Fall away. Jumper got it to go with three seconds left. And it's 43-23. Mount Carmel, a 20-point lead. The Chargers had cut the lead to eight at one point. It was 29-21. But a 14-2 run by Mount Carmel to close out this third quarter. And it is 43 23 at the end of the third quarter. It has been a tough night offensively for the Chargers. Just have not been able to get anything going offensively has St. Joe's. So a 20-point game as we head here into the fourth quarter. Mount Carmel has jumped out to a big lead here after a 14-2 run to close out that third. Caravan will start with the ball here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bennett for McDonough on the right wing. Into the right corner, McGee. McGee looking across the court for Bennett. Bennett nearly lost the basketball. He did indeed. It's stolen away by St. Joe's and a jump ball once again. Possession arrow pointing the way of St. Joe's. Reggie Strong brings it over midcourt for the Chargers. Seven and a half minutes left in the fourth. St. Joe's trail by 20. Robinson fires from three. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound by the Chargers. Zarell Mason puts it back up and in, and he is fouled. He will go to the line looking to complete a three-point play. First points of the night for Zarell Mason. left here in the fourth. Mason's free throw rattles around and in. So it's 43-26. Chargers with a full court press, which they've been doing since the second quarter. Mendez dribbling around in the backcourt, guarded tightly by Robinson. Now Mendez finding space, going down the lane. No good with the wild shot. Ball's on the floor now, and a travel. Travel is called as Dan Oaks was rolling around on the floor with the basketball, and it's back to the Chargers. 7-11 left. They trail by 17. Stops and scores. Stops and scores. That's what the Chargers need to get back into this one. They trail by 17 points with seven minutes to play. Reggie Strong at the top of the key to the outside. Becton driving the lane, and he is fouled. 
as he went up to the hoop. He will have two free throws here. That's always to your advantage when you're trying to come back in a ball game. Score with the clock stopped. Becton, first time at the free throw line tonight, and he misses the first free throw. But very hard to get back into a ball game if you can't make a free throw. Second free throw for Becton. Also no good. So Becton misses both free throws. Chargers still trail by 17. Just under seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Mendez all the way up the floor. Reddick fires from three. Nothing but net. And Josh Reddick now has 14 points. 6.40 to play. The lead back up to 20 for Mount Carmel. Here's Becton. By Zarell Mason, now it's 6.30 left in the fourth quarter. Chargers trail by 20. Reggie Strong on the outside. Strong drives the lane, dishes down. Becton puts it up off the glass, not there. Rebound tipped around, taken by Mendez for the caravan. Mendez ahead for McDonough. McDonough now to Reddick for three in the left corner. That's short. Rebounds on the floor once again. Another jump ball. Possession arrow pointing the way of Mount Carmel, so they will keep it here with 6.08 left in the fourth quarter. Mount Carmel leading by 20 points, 46-26. And the inbounds across the court, out of bounds, last touch by Mount Carmel. It'll go back to the Chargers. Here's Strong at the top of the key for Zarell Mason. Mason driving the lane, switches hands with the up and under, not there. Rebound taken by Mount Carmel. Three on the way from Reddick. In and out, rebound by Kyle Thomas. 5.40 left in the fourth. Here's Newtall. His jumper is well wide. Taken by Mendez, and then Kyle Thomas has the easy putback for two. His first points of the night, 5.30 left in the fourth. 18-point lead for Mount Carmel, nearly stolen by the Chargers, but tipped out of bounds. It will stay with Mount Carmel. Timeout is taken by St. Joseph. The Chargers trail by 18 with 5.25 left in this one. Things looking pretty grim here for the Chargers' hopes of winning this ball game. Five twenty-five left, forty-six twenty-eight, Mount Carmel. Josh Reddick leading the caravan with fourteen points. Andre Bennett also with eleven. Will Mendez and Liam McDonough each have eight. For the Chargers, Reggie Strong has ten, but no other player for St. Joe's has more than five points. Inbounds pass stolen by Zarell Mason. Mason up the floor. The pass is taken by Thomas off the glass and in. Kyle Thomas has scored the last four for St. Joe's. 46-30, a 16-point game with five minutes left. Chargers applying some pressure. Agunbu is fouled by Mason on the reach-in. That's the third foul on Zarell Mason. Third on the Chargers as a team. As Brandon Malone checks back in for St. Joe's. Bennett will inbounds from the right sideline into the backcourt for Mendez. Guarded very tightly by Reggie Strong. Mendez trying to get around Strong. And a foul will be called here on Reggie Strong. Blocking foul. That is the second on Strong. Foul 
Five minutes to play. Mount Carmel with the ball. Some pressure on the inbounds here. They had to get it into Mendez in the backcourt. Mendez up the right side. Mendez with 4.55 left in the fourth quarter. Mendez on the left side to Agumbu. Free throw line jumper. No good. Rebound tipped. Taken by McDonough for Mount Carmel. Not there. Another opportunity. And there is Reddick to clean it up. Josh Reddick now with 16 points. 48-30 Mount Carmel. Four and a half minutes left in this one. Reggie Strong brings it over half court. Now for Becton. Becton to Reggie Strong. Strong on the right wing. Strong into the right corner. Now drives baseline. Dishes for a wide open Becton right in front of the hoop for two. 48-32, 16-point game, 4-10 left. Now a three on the way once again from Reddick, and he sinks it. 19 points now for Josh Reddick, 51-32. The lead back up to 19 for Mount Carmel. Reggie Strong trying to dish down to Kyle Thomas, tipped out of bounds. Or it was last touch by the Chargers. Malik Anderson re-enters for the Chargers. They trail by 19, 3.53 to play. Reddick trying to inbound. It goes off the hand of Newtall out of bounds. So Mount Carmel will try it again on the inbounds here. We'll have to inbounds from the corner. And a timeout will be taken by Gene Pingator for St. Joseph as the Chargers trail by 19. With 3.51 to play. Well, unfortunately, the last two games have been tough for St. Joseph. The road loss. At Avonston last Saturday night, and tonight a home loss. As now the Chargers bring out some substitutes. Michael Green enters. Michael Turner uh, long, on the floor along with Hardaway. Jelani Willis out there. And as well, Kyle Flournoy for the Chargers. Into Blakemore for Mount Carmel. 3.45 left in the fourth quarter. Caravan lead by 19. Here's Reddick. Reddick looking for 20. Can't get the baseline laying. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Chargers. It'll stay with Mount Carmel. Mendez inbounding from the baseline. Now to Reddick, his three on the way. Nothing but net. Josh Reddick has made three threes in this fourth quarter. 22 points for Josh Reddick as Flournoy dribbles out of bounds. 54 32, Mount Carmel. 326 left in the ball game. Lewis entering the game for Mount Carmel. First time we've seen Brian Lewis tonight. Agunbu for Blakemore. Now it's Reddick. Reddick for Blakemore. Now underneath. Agunbu goes up. He's fouled and gets the bucket. First points of the night for Renze Agunbu. And it's 56 32. Agumbu looking to add to that 24 point lead at the free throw line. That's the sixth foul committed by the Chargers here in the second half. 
And Agumbu sinks the free throw. 57-32, Mount Carmel, as Dan Oaks enters the game for the caravan. Michael Green with the ball for the Chargers, now Flournoy. Flournoy in the corner. He fires for three. That's short. Rebound taken by Mount Carmel. Brian Lewis with it near midcourt. Now a three on the way from Reddick. That's short. Lewis with the offensive rebound. And now it's taken away by Michael Green. Green down the floor for the lay-in. He's got the two. And a big cheer from the crowd for the bucket by Michael Green. 57-34. Chargers still trail by 23. Hawkins at the top of the key. Hawkins, left wing jumper for two is good. 59-34, Mount Carmel, 2.20 to play fourth quarter. Turner on the outside for the Chargers. Turner at the top of the key, now for Flournoy. Flournoy on the right wing, now Hardaway, top of the key jumper, not there. Rebound taken by Mount Carmel, and a timeout will be taken by head coach Phil Seagrove so that he can get some substitutes on the floor with the 25-point lead with 2.07 to play here in the fourth quarter. Two oh seven left, 59-34, Caravan. Mount Carmel will have the ball here. Will be inbounded by Nick McCarthy. McCarthy in tonight. Eric Knight on the floor for the first time tonight. Along with Charlie Cipetto and a little pushing and shoving going on between these two teams. As Flournoy will have to come off the floor. as Newdall will re-enter for St. Joe's. Two minutes left here in the ball game. <laughs> Officials talking to both teams. Make sure they finish out the game. Good sportsmanship here. It's a 25-point lead for the Caravan. McGee. And it's blocked from behind by Michael Green. Here come the Chargers the other way. Up ahead, Hardaway. Pass goes off his hands, out of bounds. Back to Mount Carmel. Eric Knight re-enters for the Caravan. Chepetto takes the inbounds. Up ahead for Peyton with 140 left here in the fourth quarter. Chepetto at the top of the key. Chepetto fires from three, blocked by Michael Green. Minute and a half left in the fourth quarter. Now driving the lane is Knight. He goes to the basket and is fouled. He'll have a chance for a three point play. point lead for the Caravan. Free throw no good for Knight, but the Caravan come down with a rebound. Knight driving again in and out this time. 120 left in the ball game and then off the foot of Antonio Hardaway out of bounds and we'll go back to Mount Carmel. (laughs) 
Chipetto will inbound from underneath the Charger basket. In for Payton. Now Chipetto takes a corner three. He got it to go. Charlie Chipetto. He's probably about, I would guess, maybe five foot four out there, and he just made a three. 64 34. I actually got the roster right here. He is listed on the roster at 5'7". There is no way. <laughs> there is no way he's 5'7". He's about 5'... I would put it at 5'4", and he just made a three. Well, good moment for him, for Cipetto out there. Uh, certainly not to slight him in any way at his height, but uh, got the bench going crazy, and it's a 30-point lead which means now a running clock the rest of the ball game. The final 20 seconds. As Hardaway was called for a foul, Mount Carmel supposed to inbounds here with 10 seconds left. Inbounds pass into Knight. And with five seconds, now down to three. Knight trying to drive to the hoop. On the floor, that will do it. Mount Carmel wins it over St. Joseph 64-34 and they were led in large part by Josh Reddick who had 22 points in a 30 point win for Mount Carmel as they ran away with it in the second half. Well, for all of us here at Arena Sportsnet, thank you for joining us tonight for our coverage of St. Joseph Chargers basketball. We will not have coverage of the Proviso West Holiday Tournament, unfortunately, but we'll bring you as many games as we can uh, second half of the season. Once again, the final score, the Mount Carmel Caravan 64, St. Joseph Chargers 34. That will do it tonight from here in Westchester.